Guys, it's Kim. Welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about disappointing drugstore makeup products. So for one reason or another, these products just let me down, didn't live up to my expectations or what I look for in a product. And I'm going to tell you guys all about why I didn't like it. I always try and give my products a fair shot. So I'll try it a few different ways before I'm like, okay, I really don't like this because I just want to make sure that I'm trying it in a bunch of different ways and just making sure that I really just don't like the product and also if this is like your favorite product that I'm mentioning I know it can be so devastating when someone says they don't like a product that you love but you know we all have like different skin types and different things we look for in products so if you guys are curious to see what products let me down from the drugstore then just keep on watching I'm going to show you guys right now first product I want to show you guys is a mascara from Essence this is I Heart Extreme why does all my stuff have cat hair on <laughs> This is I Heart Extreme from Essence, and I love Essence mascaras. You guys know if you watch my channel, they are my favorite mascaras. But this one, the reason I don't like this one is because of the brush. It is huge. Like, look how big this wand is. I can't work with a wand this size. I've never liked brushes that are this big in a mascara. It's just too chunky to work with. It gets on the inner corner of my eye. I don't feel like it really grabs my lashes the way that most mascaras do. This one, just the shape of the wand is not good. So definitely don't recommend this one. I don't think it's easy to work with. Next up is the Maybelline The Graffiti Nudes Palette. Now, I don't know why I bought this because I knew that I wasn't going to love this. And it was just going crazy at Ulta one day picking out a bunch of stuff and I saw this and I said let me give it a shot I hadn't tried Maybelline shadows before and this palette I just don't love it I feel like it does not perform well on the eyes the only shade in here that I actually truly love is this like emerald green shade up here it's beautiful all over the lid it's just kind of lackluster I never really find myself wanting to use this the mattes are kind of just meh and I feel like there's no transition shade in here. So when I reach for this, I'm like, what kind of look should I be creating with this? I'm just not obsessed with the formula. I find it powdery, it's chalky. And you know, I actually really like those Maybelline single eyeshadows. Like the one I have in the glow down is beautiful. I think they stepped up their formula game a little bit. But these old palettes are just not good. I don't recommend spending your money on it. Especially like the blue and the purple are just so not pigmented. Such lackluster shades. Really disappointing because I wanted this to work and it's just not there for me. Next product that I just do not love is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose. So I love the other butter blush, the lighter one. I can't remember the name right now, but I use it as highlighter all the time. But this one, oh, this color, I think it's just the color. Obviously, it smells amazing, and I love that. But the shade on this is just way too gray undertone for me, and it doesn't even show up on my skin. I feel like you would have to be very, very, very pale to actually appreciate this. You guys know I am a huge butter bronzer fan. I love the butter bronzer. I use that on like a daily basis for work. I think it's like one of my favorite everyday bronzers. But this one, I just don't love it. I don't think I would buy more of these. These do feel really creamy to the touch and soft and silky, which I love. It's just this shade is not my favorite. Definitely just for someone who has more of a pale skin tone. This is my next one. It's the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls Highlighter. Now, I have scraped this down to the very, very bottom because I also use this when I did that DIY rose highlighter video. And uh, this is just like, I don't know. It's just the fact that I have to scrape it down to the bottom to get some sort of pigmentation. I just, I'm not obsessed with it. I find the colors to also be just like a little dull. It doesn't have that glow that I'm looking for. It's kind of like a dull glow, which who wants a dull glow? We all want to have like that pop and highlight. So this just kind of fell flat for me. I do love the Enchanted Eyeshadow as a highlighter. That one is gorgeous. But this one, I just am not obsessed with it. It's not glowy and glittery enough for me. Next, I have a foundation that... I thought was good at first. I wore this in my full face of Jordana makeup tutorial and it looked really nice at first, but then throughout the day I was an oily mess. It's the Jordana Complete Cover Maximum Coverage 
two-in-one concealer and foundation so this like like I said it looks really good at first but then throughout the day I was literally an oil slick like I actually have a picture I'll insert it somewhere in here so you guys can see but I was so greasy yes it was hot that day but I did set this foundation so I don't know I don't think I can wear this again just because it made me into an oil slick it also says maximum coverage I don't think it is like the fullest coverage ever so this one was kind of just like a pass for me I love Jordana products and I wish that this one was a product that worked for me but it's just not good with my skin type next I have a concealer from hard candy this is the glamouflage concealer the heavy duty concealer so I actually should throw this away mine's really old but I tried this out again because I wanted to see if I still didn't like it or just like my thoughts on it so I wore it through a whole day and oh my gosh it was so thick and it caked up under my eyes it creased it did not look good you guys I know the whole purpose of this is that it's supposed to be really heavy duty maybe it would be good for like covering up pimples but for under the eyes no just stay away avoid it's just way too thick and cakes up like crazy I have a brush that I did not like and this is surprising because I love wet n wild brushes I use them all the time the crease brush you guys know is my fave but this one is the fan brush and now wet n wild brushes are synthetic so I usually really like synthetic brushes but this one like it's you know I think it's the shape of it and it's so thin like what am I gonna really do with this I feel like I can't put on highlighter because it's literally just like a straight line there's no fluff to this maybe for like the cupid's bow but it still feels just way too thin if it was fluffier I think it would be better but it's just like to me it's kind of a useless brush and I'm sad because I love wet wild brushes and I think they're so cute too but this one just not good for highlighter or really anything that I can think of. Two liquid eyeliner pens that let me down. I'm so picky with eyeliner pens. The first one I thought I was going to love is the Max Factor Masterpiece High Precision Eyeliner. So this one has like this really interesting um, rounded tip on it and it's just so like not pigmented at all like when you put it on the eyes it just doesn't show up like a true black and what I'm looking for is a really true black matte liner like I'm wearing today but this one it just didn't do it and also it doesn't work well when you have eyeshadow on like it just doesn't show up and it's just not good and I'm sad because it is made in Germany and usually German made products are really good and I used to love Max Factor mascaras and this was like a limited edition release and I think Pat McGrath actually worked on these products and she chose which ones they were gonna release in the US but I was just let down I really wanted to love this but it's just not black enough for me Bonneville liquid eyeliner pen I wanted to give this a try because I don't know I hadn't tried Bonneville products in like years since middle school so I was like let me try out their eyeliner see how it is not good the tip of it is nice because it's a really thin tip but again it's just not black enough for me it doesn't look good throughout the day it kind of wears off so i definitely don't recommend this to you guys i have some eyeshadows that i just did not like these are from sally beauty they are the bitsy eyeshadows so here they are this one this one and this one this one is actually a ColourPop eyeshadow i just popped in here because i had an extra spot and I didn't have a place for this one but these eyeshadows so disappointing maybe I have to try some other shades but these were like really powdery and chalky nothing barely even shows up on the eye like this shade is so pretty I really wanted to love it but nothing was showing up so I was disappointed um, but I will say this packaging like this little four pan is amazing I actually just bought another one and it's only a dollar so I mean these eyeshadows aren't great maybe you can find some shades because they do have a ton but these I just did not love like this matte brow bone shade I feel like it's so easy to do a matte brow bone shade but it's just not good so if anything just get the little pan because it's great to travel with like if you're going somewhere and you just want to pop in some single eyeshadows that you love then definitely pick this up but I was just really disappointed I do like some of the products from this bitsy line so I did a little swatch right there on the middle of my arm but the quality is just not there and I know that these are cheaper eyeshadows so maybe I shouldn't have expected too much but sometimes you can find some hidden gems that are affordable but 
This product is a little bit strange, so I actually like the color of this. This is the Maybelline Master V Contour by Face Studio. I actually really like the color of this contour. It's more of a gray undertone, and I have used it before like a bunch of times, and it's really nice, but just the layout of this, I see what they were going for, trying to be innovative, but just the fact that like the brown part can get into the concealer part kind of freaks me out. And, you know, vice versa, that they can just mix with each other. And you really have to be careful how you're applying this. And also, like, because it's split in the middle, you can't use the fine point of this. You have to only use the side. So, I think it was cool what they tried to do. But in the end, it just doesn't work out as great as I would like it to. But A plus for trying something different, Maybelline. I do think it is a cool concept, just not that great when you apply it. I have this little duo from Bonnebel. I tried a bunch of Bonnebel products like a couple months ago and most of them were just not good at all. I got them at Harmons. This is the Blush and Glow Sun Blush Rose Illuminating Powder Blush. So it's a duo. So we have this lighter shimmery pink shade here and then the highlighter here. Now when I saw this I thought it was really pretty but honestly like the powders are not that nice. It feels creamy when you touch it which is nice but there are chunks of glitter in here and I don't love that. So sometimes it's okay like in the Anastasia Glow Kit I don't mind it but in here it just shows up on the skin looking really bad. So this is a product that I don't know. I don't love it, but it also just kind of blends away to nothing. Like, there's just no pigmentation to this when you put it on the face. Like, it's not glowy enough. It just doesn't have enough pizzazz or wow to even just warrant me to... It just doesn't have that, like, wow, shimmery, nice, glowy look to the face. It just blends out to nothing. So definitely don't recommend this, you guys. I don't even know where else you could buy this besides Harman because that's the only place I've seen it. But it was a flop. I don't know what I was expecting from this because it's bombshell. But the Chapstick Cake Batter Lip Balm. I got this at Walmart in a three-pack. Thought I was going to love this because I love all things cake batter and vanilla. But this is like the worst chapstick ever. It is so not moisturizing. It actually makes my lips feel dry. And uh, I mean... It smells really good, but just provides zero moisturization. Like, that's what I'm looking for in a lip balm, a chapstick. Is I want my lips to be moisturized. I have dry lips, as you guys know, so I'm always looking for the best moisturizer or lip balm. But this one was just really disappointing, and I think I'm just going to throw it out, honestly. I have foundation here that I did not like. It's the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous in 105. I thought I was going to like this, but I did not. It just really accentuated my pores and made my skin look bad, basically. And it says oil-free, but my skin was really oily after I used this. So I was disappointed because I know a few people said that they really like this. I think Shan XO really loves this. So I wanted to love it too, but I just feel like it accentuated all of the texture on my face. And when I put on a foundation, I want my skin to look smooth and nice. And even with a primer, this just didn't look good on me. I have another disappointing product from Hard Candy. This is the Cushion Wonder Color Correct in the green shade. So I love green color correctors because it gets rid of redness as long as you blend it in nicely. But something about this shade of green is not good. <laughs> it's like almost just like just wrong. Like it's not the correct green shade for color correcting. When you apply it, you can still see it underneath your foundation even when you blend it in. And you can see like I really like the I really like the applicator. It's this sponge applicator which is really cool um i don't necessarily understand like the point of this cushion applicator i don't know it feels nice and soft but a lot of product you can see gets left on the tip even after you're done using it a green shade that i do really like is this one right here in the elf palette this one's actually a little bit more of like a lighter green shade where this one's just kind of like 
don't know. It's just not right. So, all right, you guys, that is it. Those are all the products from the drugstore that were just like a letdown for me. Let me know in the comments down below what drugstore products you did not like. I would love to hear from you guys. If you want to see more disappointing product videos like this one, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you liked it. I try out so many different products, so it's easy for me to find products for these types of videos because sometimes things are just underwhelming. And I'm going to pass these products on to someone who will enjoy them. That's what I always do when I do like a declutter or like if something just didn't work for me, maybe someone else will love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hold on, hold on.